Want to win one of 10 iPads or up to $10,000? It's the 25th anniversary of .com, so tell us how .com has changed your life. Write your story at howdoyou.com and you could win. Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, and today we're taking a look at the BlackBerry Torch 9800. You can get this device for about $200 on AT&T's network with a two-year contract. Uh, other prices are to be determined at this point. So let's have a quick hardware tour of the device. As you've probably heard, the uh, biggest distinguishing feature is the slide-up uh, action here that reveals a full four-line QWERTY keyboard. Now across the front of the device, we have a dedicated uh, call-answer key a call reject key which also functions as the power button. We have a button that will let us uh, go back to whatever we were viewing previously as well as the BlackBerry menu key that is application specific and will bring up um, different uh, menu items and menu options. Here we have an optical trackpad that we can use uh, with our finger. It's a full capacitive touchscreen keyboard 480 by 360. Now on the side of the device here we have a micro B USB port for charging the device. We also have a dedicated convenience key on the other side of the device. Uh, by default, this uh, will open up the camera application and snap a picture, but you can set that to, uh, to open whatever you want. We also have a volume rocker on the side here and a 3.5 millimeter three-stage uh, jack that will allow us to use um, an included headset with a microphone. Across the top of the device, we have a dedicated lock button as well as a power bu or a uh, mute button, which will allow us to, for example, uh, mute a call if we're sitting in a meeting. The BlackBerry Torch 9800 runs BlackBerry 6 OS, which is the latest version of uh, BlackBerry's operating system. Now, if you're a BlackBerry user previously, um, this will feel very comfortable to you. It really does feel like a step forward, though. You, you really feel like you're uh, operating kind of a current generation smartphone. However, if you are an Android or iPhone user, it does feel like a bit of a step back. But let's have a quick look. So across the top here, we have our dedicated social media and messaging feed. Uh, so we can tap on this item here and get uh, access to all of our emails, any SMSs that have come in, also our Twitter and Facebook feed. We can add in our Google Talk ID, our AIM ID, our BlackBerry Messenger ID, um, and uh, several other IDs to actually consolidate all of our social media into, uh, into one place. Now we also have across in that same menu bar, we have a dedicated um, profile selector so we can create the profiles that we want to use in the settings uh, under the menu system uh, and then add a tap just um, choose a new profile so if, for example we're going into a meeting we can choose uh, silent or vibrate only or, or whatever you want. Now we also have a universal search feature across the side here. If we tap on that uh, this will actually search contacts, emails, um, files that we've downloaded to the device uh, anything like that across the entire, uh, across the entire phone. So now you see across the bottom here that we have uh, access to some of our most often used um, applications. They're divided into categories, so we can create our own favorites and put them in here. We also have access to our media, our downloads, so those are any apps we've downloaded from the BlackBerry App World, as well as our frequently used uh, applications here. Now any of these categories, we can actually grab the menu bar and slide it up. Uh, feels very much like the Android OS, and now we can slide through and see all of our applications and tap anything we want to, uh, to launch. And we can also slide this menu bar down to hide it like this. Now one new feature of the BlackBerry 6 OS is um, it really does feel like it was made for a touch screen, and we can actually do pinch zooming and things like that. So if we go into the media application here, try and find some of our pictures. We'll have a look in the wallpapers, and we can tap on any one of the pictures that we want to open. Now we can actually pinch to zoom in and zoom out, which is, you know, kind of neat. Now included on the phone is a 5 megapixel camera with a flash, so if we go into our media applications here and find the camera app, now you can see it's finding our current location, that the, the camera actually does do geotagging. Now we can put uh, in this case, this is the included headset that comes with the, um, comes with the phone. So we can use the trackpad here to zoom in and out. We can also toggle the flash on, off, or to automatic. 
And let's have a quick look at some of these scene modes that we have to choose from here. There are 11 scene modes in, in total, including face detection. There's a sport setting down here. So we can just tap on any one of these settings, and the, uh, the phone will compensate um, when taking the picture. Now, we can also use a video camera application that's included on here. Uh, we can actually record video in 640 by 480, so nowhere even close to high definition, which you see on something like the iPhone 4, but it is uh, greater than the screen resolution, which is uh, 480 by 320. And it does actually record decent quality video. So that's a quick look at the BlackBerry Torch 9800. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit butterscotch.com. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash gadgettv.